Hello, 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 and yo, 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 Liam Funnyman signing in. Welcome back to World of Light. As promised, I will now read off what I wrote, what I have here for... <laughs> for Pikachu. And uh, Pikachu's, uh... Pikachu's politics. Uh, on the political compass. Take notes on this, Shoney boy. <clears throat> okay, we all know that every Pokémon is a species and not a singularity. But let's be real here. The Pikachu in Smash? That's Ash Ketchum's Pikachu. You know, the one who's been trying to avoid retirement for 25 years. Still getting dragged into battles like he's got something to prove, even after the journey's ended. And given how he and Ash fought loads of villains making tyrannical bids for world domination, you could argue Pikachu has picked up a thing or two about political ideologies along the way. I mean, let's not forget, they went up against Giovanni, a guy so obsessed with taking over the world, he basically invented the Pokemon version of corporate dystopia. Pikachu is probably shocked, literally and figuratively, Every flavor of villain, from megalomaniacs to pseudo-dictators. And don't even get me started on Lysander. That guy was basically the final boss of Seven Granddad with his plans for global genocide. So Pikachu has had his fair share of anti-fascist zapping. Pikachu isn't just sparking up because he's cute. It's a subtle protest against fascists everywhere. He's practically wearing a tiny Che Guevara hat between battles. So, yeah. You could argue that Pikachu leans libertarian left. He's not tearing down the system, but if some criminal organization is messing with freedom, you bet your Thunderstone he's gonna be there to spark a revolution. Just don't try to box him in. He's too busy being Ash's ride or die for that. And he's not even going to use that Thunderstone anyway. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I might actually make my own... Act I might actually make my own version of, uh, of Shoney's video. With that, with these, with, with what I wrote, what I have here for Samus and for, for Pikachu. Oh, I am Jigglypuff. Oh my gosh. You, this is probably the funniest... This one is probably the funniest one. This one is probably the funniest one. That... <laughs> that I have. And now we come to the final member of the original 12. Jigglypuff. If we're going by the logic of Pikachu being Ash's Pikachu, Let's say the Smash Jigglypuff is none other than the recurring Jigglypuff from the anime. The one with that unhinged, sing until you sleep and then I vandalize your face energy. You remember Misty trying to catch her, right? I do, and I still wonder what that would have been like. Can you imagine? Misty's like, hey Jigglypuff, use Water Gun, and Jigglypuff just looks at her like, I am an artist, you peasant. But that's a discussion for another day. Now, Jigglypuff doesn't really seem to have opinions on anything. She's just happy to do her own thing. Whether that's knocking people out with her angelic voice, or drawing the most savage doodles on them afterward. Jigglypuff transcends the political compass. She's not here for your ideologies, she's here for the vibes. She's the an anarch she's an anarchist in the most chaotic neutral sense of the word. Like, I'm not overthrowing anything. I'm just trying to make sure everyone hears my mixtape and passes out! But if we have to place her somewhere, she's chilling right smack dab in the middle with Mario. Not because she's interested in maintaining the status quo. More like she's just too busy singing people to sleep to care. Mario's fighting Bowser and Jigglypuff's in the background like, Wake me when it's karaoke time.
But yeah. I really don't... I feel like that is all... I feel like what I came up with for Jiggly... What I have for Jigglypuff is a lot funnier than what I... Than what, I, than what Shoney did and his friends. This is embarrassing. It was worth it. Alright, let's try Kazuya this time around. at this point. Just like how I play actual tech it. I have never been able to execute his rage attack in Smash. I'm putting in the right um, commands, but it's not doing anything. Uh, I'm actually curious as to how I'm going to do the rest of the characters. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm honestly curious as to how, uh, how Shoney is going to do the rest of this, the roster over time on the political compass. How I can uh, do my own take on 
on what he puts down with my own sense of humor and but with, but keeping some of his jokes intact. Also, while we're on the topic of politics, I know I don't, I don't, I ought, I, I try not to get too political on this channel, but I just have to say it, have to say this. Not every, not every Israeli person is a Zionist, you anti-Semitic ogres. It is entirely possible for a Jew to be innocent! Sorry, just had to get that out there. <sighs> oh, hey, me, Gunner. Stop getting political. I mean, what am I talking about? It's election season. Of course I'm gonna get political at some point or another, even though I don't really care much about politics that much. Realistic, I mean, personally, I don't really, I... Yeah. Okay, Planty. Let's see what you can do to help us get E Gunner on to the team. I really don't get why you fight her on Tortimer Island. It doesn't make sense to me why one of the Mii's will be fought on an Animal Crossing stage. I don't get it. It's weird. Oh, that was my uh, piano alarm, piano practice alarm, but uh, I don't really pay much attention to that, really. Use often. That often. I'm usually occupied with other things. Like this Let's Play channel. I, which I, which I recently found the motivation to, to start doing again, just today, the day I'm, I'm recording this and the previous episode and who knows how many other episodes. But yeah. I can get from the tree. Fire explosion resistance up. That's pretty self-explanatory. I would say. Anywho. Cream and cheese. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if Sakurai just hates the Sonic series and that's why it doesn't get the representation it so dearly deserves. Hasn't fixed Sonic's moveset in... Who knows how many years? 
hasn't added, hasn't um, brought in Tails as a second Sonic fighter. I strongly believe that if that it that if we ever get a second Sonic rep in Smash, it should be Tails. But I can literally never seem to convince anyone of that. Everyone seems more focused on Shadow, Knuckles, Eggman. And while those are all fine, uh, fine candidates, Tails, Sonic without Tails is like Mario without Luigi. It just doesn't feel right. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Um, Ryota Hayami. My friend Dennis would know about some, more of these than I do. Like this guy. I know he's from like a wave, like a jet ski, like from like a jet ski racing game or something. But that's about it. Oh yeah, I should probably, I should be playing as me gunner. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fix that right after this. Anyway. says nobody ever plays as the Mings. with his parents. <laughs> I've been having doing this stuff since 2017, so... So in 2027... My Let's Play career will be, as the Phantom of the Opera would say in Love Never Dies, ten years old! Why am I not winning?
no! Ah, oh, this sucks, man. Let's see, yeah. Uh... Um. Holy crack a toa. Are you? You gotta be pulling on my leg. This is very annoying. I should be winning. I should be doing well at this. I don't know. I don't understand what's holding me back. Why? Okay, got it. Gotta be fair to myself, I haven't played this game in a while. Sucks. I am never going to beat this again. Am I? Oh, stop it, Liam. You are. I got this. Get a grip, Liam. All right, Liam. All right, I got this. Come on and slam. Oh, yeah. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Come on and slam if you want to jam. Now that is Jumbo Large right there. But I managed to do that. Shantae. Oh, how I wish that she could have gotten in. She's one of my favorite indie characters, like, ever. I mean, really. I mean, really. 
Who else do you know that can literally whip their hair back and forth and then and then belly dance to turn into an elephant? That's not a sense you hear very often. But Shantae can do it. And that's amazing. I, at first I was just a... At first I was just drawn... At first I was drawn in by her, uh... Design, shall we say. Then I, st then I actually played the games and realized, oh hey, this is actually kind of fun, and the dialogue is hilarious. And yeah, now I'm a fan. So... Next time on World of Light, we'll, we're gonna beat up an old man lobster. <laughs> Just a normal day in Maine. <laughs> Until then, everybody, remember to stay Jumbo Large.